uh, yeah, this figure just to show that, um, that at five minutes, uh, actually the the height simulation is not in GFR, it's not at GFR and kick and then PDGFR. So that means uh, EGF does not only activate EGF. Uh, it actually activates our receptor, receptor tyrosine kinase. And it's still only further investigation to know if this is actually a direct stimulation or actually it's a, a cross talk after EGF uh, or the PDGF get activated. Um, so we also do some other study on the IGF and EGF and insulin estimation. Uh, so this is just a pilot study. And um, we think that by studying different gross factor estimation, we might be able to figure out a whole signal pathway network. And I believe, let me see. So I believe the, um, the red one the red one should be the the EGF, the blue one should be the IGF, and then the green one should be the insulin. And so they have different patterns. And that's of course because the downstream signaling that was different. Uh, this is just um, another treatment. Um, treatment of Apple 3 one cell signal with EGF and then pre-treat or not pre-treat with the green tip. Because we want to know if we can do some other study. And, um, this study shows that the EGG actually block and suppress all the stimulation from the EGF. So the, the red one is without the EGCG treatment, the blue one is with the EGG treatment. So you can see the stimulation block. So that might explain why people think or now if you want to think. Why most research suggests that the green tea has some anti-cancer effect? Uh, because it can actually block most of the survival pathway and the single network of the growth factor. Um, so what we already test uh, with the microwave turn, uh, we test different cell line because we want to know if this is only work in the Apple 3 one cell or it can be done in other cell line. So we, we have we have already tried like the frost the cancer cell line, breast cancer cell line, and I believe skin, colon, and um, I think some bone cancer cell line. So all the cell line uh, actually work. Okay? And then we try the, the mouse tissue, skin tissue, we can see the protein expression. We try the human breast tumor. Um, we can see some protein expression, although there is some problem if the tumor has a lot of the fat tissue. Uh, so too much fat might be a problem here. And then uh, we also try the mouse embryonic stem cell and it works. So the an, an advantage of this technology is that uh, compared to the reverse phase array, we don't have problem with the cross react, and you can see the correct uh, protein size. But not like the, the reverse phase array or the tissue array. You can for the tissue array you can print a lot of different samples on one slide and then detect for like uh, one or two anomaly. For this one, uh, it's limited by the the pin, it need to take the sample wash. So for this one, we only print like six samples. You can mod modify the program to print like 12 or something. But the more sample you print, it take longer time. And you know, if you take too much time to print, your gel might get dry. So that's the disadvantage of this. Um, we might need to do some other modification of the program. But basically, we think that uh, this cannot be very useful to study uh, like the progression of the cancer uh, to study the mechanism or find some biomarker uh, yeah. as long as you have an antibody library you can be used to study some disease and, and because you only need very tiny amount of sample 25 microliter um, so it's useful to do like tissue analysis or stem cell study when your sample is very limited 
and you can use to study some development procedure when you know you use only Britannia model sample. And I believe that's the end of my talk. Yeah. So I would like to thank uh, for my post mentor, uh, Dr. Richard Jones. And Mark Chancho is, is the graduate student who done most of the technical work here. And then my colleague, uh, Dr. John Barkin, Ping Leong, uh, Ronald, and also uh, Ken, Kenny's president, Wu, and uh, uh, director, Zhang Zonko from NHI. Thank you so much. <laughs>